Hey everyone, it's Miss Amanda, and today we are going to make some popcorn kernels dance inside of this tall glass. And I'm going to show you what we're going to use to make it happen. We're going to use some vinegar and some baking soda. And that's really it. So this activity is super easy to do since you only need a few things. So first of all, I'm going to take my cup and I'm going to fill it up with some vinegar. Okay, so here I have my glass and here I have my dog and I'm about to pour some of my vinegar into the glass. I filled it up to about halfway or so, maybe a little bit more. Okay, now I'm going to take my kernels and I'm going to drop them in the bottom. Okay, before I put the baking soda in, what do you think is going to happen to the kernels at the bottom of my glass? Well, I already told you they're going to dance. So do you think they're going to stay still? No, they're going to move around inside of the glass. So they're probably either gonna go side to side or up and down or spin around, right? But have you ever mixed baking soda with vinegar before? Do you know what it makes? It makes bubbles, right? So usually when you blow bubbles outside, what are you blowing into them? You blow, you blow air into them and they usually flow up into the sky. Or if you ever pour a bubbly drink, maybe like soda or seltzer, you'll see that the bubbles inside of your drink are going where? The bubbles are floating up to the top and sometimes they tickle your nose, right? because the bubbles are full of air and they're trying to come up to the surface to try to escape to where there's more air everywhere, right? Outside of the cup. So when we go back into our memory and think about other times we've mixed baking soda with vinegar, we remember we saw bubbles happen when we put the two together. So let's see how these bubbles are going to make our kernels dance inside of our glass. Ready? Okay, now I'm going to pour some baking soda into my cup. Um, I read to pour it very slowly. I also read to mix it a little bit. So it looked like our kernels went all the way up to the top, right? And sometimes then when I would push them back down, it would sink to the bottom and it would make its way back up unless I stirred in and maybe I would help it out a little bit. But did you see where the bubbles were going before they went up top? So some bubbles that were by themselves went straight to the top where the opening of the cup was. But the other ones are coating are going around and covering the kernels. And then since they are covered in bubbles, they are going to carry them. Kind of like when you're in a pool and you wear floaties or you're in a tube, those floaties and tubes are full of air and they're going to help you float to the top of the pool on top of the water, just like how the bubbles from the reaction of the vinegar and the baking soda make go on top of the kernels and they act as if they are floaties making them come to the top of the vinegar. So cool, let's watch some more.
Okay.